Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have the Skyrim NPCs Overhaul. The mod comes from the same author that created Enhanced Enemy AI and Enhanced Mighty Dragons, two mods that we covered not long ago. The mod overhauls most named and generic NPCs, as well as humanoid monsters in Skyrim. Several changes have been made depending on the types of NPC, but the general outcome is similar to the author's other mods in that it's going to make things more diverse and challenging. Generic NPCs like bandits, forsworn, hunters, wizards and all the rest of them will now have more power and abilities. For example, wizards and other mage classes will have a variety of different spells depending on their level and the type of mage they are. So early on, you should notice them using mostly novice spells, but as you progress in the game you'll start to notice expert and even master spells being used by the enemy. All NPCs, including those with names and humanoid monsters, will now have and make use of the perk system that your own character uses. So NPCs will now get critical hits if they have the right perks and they'll also get all of the other bonuses too, like staggering, dual wielding bonuses and all the rest. All NPCs will even have and use their racial abilities once a day, which puts an interesting spin on a fight if an orc decides to use Berserker's Rage, or if a wood elf turns an animal into an ally. It's also a great addition for followers, who will make use of their perks and racial abilities. Certain NPCs have also been made stronger, like mercenaries, assassins and thieves. Guards and soldiers have also been given a higher level from the start, and soldiers will also make use of healing items and abilities to help them in battle. Named NPCs will also make use of healing items and will generally be stronger, which makes things like killing the Dark Brotherhood a much more difficult thing to accomplish. The essential NPC system has also been scrapped and replaced with a protected NPC system. It's essentially the same system, except any NPCs that were marked essential can now be killed, but only by the player. So they'll never die in battle unless you finish them off. Some other NPCs have also been made protected, including all followers, all trainers and all vendors. The upside to this feature is that it's slightly more immersive and similar to older games like Baldur's Gate. Unfortunately, it also lets you kill NPCs that could have quests or be vital to the story. We think it's a bit of a risky feature, especially for newer players, but you could just use the resurrect console command if something goes wrong. We also think it'd probably work better if there was some sort of final blow system, and that if you did try to kill a protected NPC, then they'd always fall to their knees and either a pop-up window or a notice in the top left corner tells you you're about to kill an essential NPC, which would prevent accidental killings. And overall, the mod is very simple, but also very effective, and you should notice a difference after just a couple of fights in-game. The mod's also been fully tested, and we can also confirm that we didn't run into any bugs. It also doesn't use any scripts, so there shouldn't be any issues when installing or uninstalling the mod. The author also recommends using his Enhanced Enemy AI mod, which we'll also link down below, and if you want to see what effect that'll have, then we'll also include a link to our Spotlight too. And that's it for today's Spotlight. As always, be sure to leave an endorsement if you enjoy an author's mod, and thanks for watching.